New information on the death of Prince. Nearly a year after the music legend died, investigators say painkillers were prescribed under the name of a friend to protect the singer's privacy. CBS 2's Jen Mayerly reports. The Carver County Sheriff's Office unsealed a total of 11 search warrants executed in the months after Prince's death. The documents point to the center of the investigation. Medications and narcotics found inside Paisley Park. None were prescribed to the music icon. Many were found in a suitcase with the tag Peter Bravestrong, believed to be an alias Prince used. Also in there, handwritten lyrics to the song, You've Got the Look. Investigators also found prescriptions, including oxycodone, in Kirk Johnson's name. He was there when Prince was found and was a longtime friend and head of security. According to the documents, Twin Cities doctor Michael Schulenberg wrote the prescription in Johnson's name for Prince to protect Prince's privacy. That is illegal. Investigators executed a search warrant at Schulenberg's office. The doctor had seen Prince on April 7th and again on the 20th, the day before he died. Schulenberg showed up to Paisley Park with test results, only to learn the music trailblazer was found dead. But it's Prince's laptop that investigators eventually zeroed in on. Prince stopped using a cell phone after it was hacked and mainly communicated over email. Last September, detectives claim Google Gmail accounts from Prince's laptop computer will hold valuable evidence into who Prince was communicating with and could reveal how he got that deadly dose of fentanyl. In addition to pills, investigators say they also found a pamphlet for addiction recovery. Prince was found unconscious inside an elevator at his Paisley Park home on April 21st of last year.